In this video, I'm going to show you how to have Amazon get your product reviews for you. Hey team, Justin with Managed by Stats here. Here's another tip on how to get reviews using Amazon FBA. So we're gonna show you how to do it in Amazon, and then we're gonna show you how to do it better and faster. So I've been selling on Amazon for 10 years. As you can imagine, I've seen the whole progression of asking for reviews for your product. It used to be you could practically demand a five-star review. So let's go over today's landscape. First of all, buyer-seller messaging is not dead, it's just restricted, which actually I think is a good thing. There are way more unscrupulous sellers than there were when I started. So having these new restrictions in place prevents them from muddying up the waters for us, basically. So some of the things that have come out that you don't wanna do with buyer-seller messaging are adding links in your message, upselling, demanding a five-star review, things like that. Now, for most of you, I'm sure this is not new news but you may not be aware that Amazon has recently come out with a review request button inside of every order that you get. Now this has been out for nearly a year now, so we've had a lot of opportunities from our sellers that we work with to find out what works and where it breaks. Amazon gives you between five and 30 days after the initial sale for you to be able to go in and click that review request button. It's five days because Amazon wants the customer to have the time to receive the product and actually use it before they get a request for a review. And on the 30 day limit, my guess is that because people buy so much stuff on Amazon, they probably wouldn't remember how they felt about the product anyhow at that point. Let's cover the scenarios where the button actually doesn't work and a review request does not go out. One, you're outside the five to 30 day window. Two, a request has already been made. Three, a review has already been done. Four, there's a mess up with Amazon's queue. Five, the customer is unsubscribed from Amazon emails. And six, the email that was used to make a purchase is no longer valid. Now let me show you how to actually do the review request. Hop on over to Seller Central, go to your Manage Orders page, open up any order, and click Request a Review. Now keep in mind the six criteria where this may not work. And also keep in mind, we have had repeated instances where someone clicks that button, it goes into the Amazon queue and it disappears to the ether. And you have to click it again and just hope that it works. Now I told you earlier that I was gonna show you how to do this better, and I am. Because with Managed by Stats, our two main focuses are one, understanding your numbers better, and two, automating your business. Now let me show you how we automate this. Go into Seller Mail, Email Rules, Add a rule, start from scratch. The type is going to be review request. Set up your sender, set the status to active, set up your message name. For instance, if you wanna send it to just one or all or a series of products, you name it appropriately. Set the send five to 30 days after the product is purchased and you're done. Now I said that there are six scenarios where this request wouldn't go out. Luckily for you, MBS is gonna send that request to Amazon over and over until it actually goes out. Now, if you are already an MBS subscriber, make sure it says Elite up in the top left corner. If it says Pro or Starter, make sure you upgrade and you can do that in Settings Payments. Now, if you're not already an MBS subscriber, what are you doing? Give us a shot. You get a free 14-day trial. There's no credit card required. I'll see you there. And if you're not already a subscriber of our YouTube channel, I implore that you do so. Not doing so is bad juju. Also, hit that bell icon so that you get all our notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.